that. It's the next day and we're on the pocket pot again. Now we're just pulling ourselves out, we're in the rocky weedy bits, the rocks just there. It might look quite far away but it's only like three or four metres, it's not far. It's going to put us in gear to push us a little bit so we stay clear of the weed. Any joy today. We're only leaving it for 24 hours, we should leave it for maybe a couple of days. But... <laughs> there you go. Not sure he's going to be sized, but, no, but he's, a but he's a lobster, and that's yeah. that's, that's it's all part of it. I don't know though; he might be actually. Well, we're only going to go to the boat over there. Uh, I've actually got a gauge in the boat, oh, in the dinghy. I carry one in my box for these such occasions. Oh, let me stop that idea. There it is. Not the greatest gauge, but. It'll be under, I think, but... Oh, well, it's like, I mean, it depends on how accurate this is It's a bit bent, but we'll check him again. Yeah, it looks like he might be size. <laughs> okay. I mean, that, well, yeah, I know. It's, it's only this, it, this I carry it around me all the time when I go in this boat and that, so we've always got a gauge just as an emergency in case I pull pots in this boat. But there you go. Pocket pot for the win. Right. Let us get this pot back. I think we'll put it back roughly in the same sort of area. Right, let's get moving. That lobster did make the size. This is a legal size lobster, so first one. Right. Yeah, pocket pocket pot. Does it again? <laughs> Grab a couple, the double ones, we're going to move them in a bit. There's a lobster in there. It was over the edge though. Nice side one too. There we go. One good sized lobster. Yeah. Right, drop it. Well, we're pulling our pots out. We're going to move these back in today because it's going to get a bit rough. I don't know when we'll next get to these if we leave them too far out. So, and this is quite far out for us. Up a bit. That's it, got it. Cuckoo rats and a lobster. Oh. Right, that's why that's a lobster big enough. Looks like a pot. They do shrink sometimes. They dry out. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get the other one. Yeah. Yeah, he should be fine. He should be, that's right. It's getting smaller. I better have a measure it. It's too small. Yep, it's well oversized. So we've got ourselves a lobster. Hopefully you're not getting too wet there because the camera is, it is raining at the moment. 
there's the cuckoo rust down the floor. Yeah. Just popped it down the floor out of the way. Rebecca will pick it up. In a minute, we'll have another look. That's what we come out here for quite often. Nice crab. Yeah, that's a nice crab. That's worth taking it. Yeah, that might be one for us, I think, maybe, possibly. Since we we not, might not get out for a while, it'd be nice to have a bit of a crab or something. Yeah, we'll take it in anyway. So we've got a nice crab as well, one lobster, one crab, and a cuckoo rass. I mean, it's fair enough. You got his claw around the trap. Try and flip him upside down if you can, it's always the easiest way. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. nice, it's hard as well. Yeah, that's a good one, that. That should be that's, the minimum size, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's, that's fine, that. We'll take that. Yeah. Anything much smaller than that, we wouldn't bother. That's nice size, nice and hard shell. So it should be have plenty of meat in that one. For a couple of people, anyway. Well, she's going to say for one person, I'm going to say two persons. <laughs> and can you just grab that fish behind you and we'll yeah. have a quick look at that. So, yeah blown you see that that's why I'm keeping it as well is because it's uh bladder's gone it's come up deep and when they come up deep they explode inside and it's not the it's not just the bladder that blows up it's the vessels in the brain and stuff so they might go back down temporarily but quite often they'll end up back on the surface or drifting away in the tide and you won't see them come back up right we need to bake them that one this one could be the tiny bit oh, we could Hopefully it will just pass up against the rock and we can recover, recover everything. Right, well we're about we're about to do another set of parts, so I'm gonna to have to keep the camera tilted quite far down because it's chucking it down with the rain. It might get rather blurry if the lens covers with water, the amount of water. Doesn't look it, but it is raining and it's heavy drops. And there's lightning and thunder as well, so a bit of everything. At the moment though, the lightning and thunder's a little bit further away, which is good for us. Don't want it too close. If we if we get a lot, we'll pull into the cliff and we'll hang tight to the cliff until it passes. Bob up there, he's just jammed in the rocks over there. Got another one on the cliff up there. I don't know if anybody can see that. There's one right at the top there. You see how high the water's thrown that up there? It's amazing. I'll try and zoom in if I can, but it's probably a bit too far away. Well, no, it's only been out, like, say, overnight, this one, so it takes a little while for this one. Here it comes. And it's here. at the moment. Looks completely empty. It is completely empty. Well that's not good eh? What a waste of time that one. We stopped to fish a little bit. Rebecca's hooked something. Probably a horse mackerel. Oh, I don't know though. It looks more like a mackerel. It's like mackerel. What sounds it is like? Mackerel, yeah. And she lost it as well.
tell you what, this pot's doing a lot. Come on. What did you say? That's a bruiser. Look at it. Yeah, great pass. We've got a small one. Yeah, that same old thing, it's hanging in there, isn't it? There's this one which I think is probably going to be too small, although you never know. Actually, it's not too small, it's an eagle size. There's two out of that open one. Glad I checked them there. I think if we take a piece of that grass, maybe. Let's see if we get what comes up next in this one. Bingo. 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 Look at wow. that. And a good That's a one. lovely yeah. size as well. Yeah. Not too big, not too small. Nice. That's just right, that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Two lobsters in one pot, crayfish in another. I mean. Yeah, I said, didn't I? Let's keep on oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm really glad I did this. Well, I've done the two pots over there now. Because, <laughs> like, I can't not do this. Holy cow. There you go, look at that. A beautiful creature. A crayfish or crawfish. Now this is this is legal obviously, it's not a massive one, but it's perfect size, you don't want them too, too big. I've had them up to eight and a half pounds is the biggest one that I've ever seen. And to give you some perspective, if you had it on the floor, its antenna would reach over the each side of the boat, it was that big. <laughs> but usually, well, in all cases, when you see the big ones, they are males, they're like the big balls. And they're enormous compared to females. Yeah, I normally get giant bull males. And like I said, the biggest one I had was eight and a half, and I've had two sevens before. But um, I've never seen anything bigger than that. But this one's probably about three, three pound, I'd say. Yeah. yeah that's that's probably around three pound, this one. It's strong. Yeah. I don't but it's ideal it's size. Like I say, you don't want them too, too big, really. I mean, you do, because it's really nice to see them, but it's always that thing that, you know, this is the perfect size. Because if there are um, others out there, which there should be, if you catch one, there's normally more. They travel together in groups, you see. So. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Just tip it up from underneath a second. That's a male. That's a male one. Yeah. Yep. Brilliant. Right. Let's get going and get these back down. I wasn't expecting that here. I tell you, that one thing I wasn't expecting. Back again, he went off and came back, he's come back to the eye Yep, look at that pot. We've got a crab in this one, and we've got a small lobster in that pot. Watch out, there's a jelly in there, see it? I don't think there's any ten doodles in there, but. Buster of a lobster. Yeah. Beauty. Right, let's get going. There we go, successful day on the water. We've got some nice lobster, big lobster, this is going to be about uh, two and three quarter. 
probably. Might even make three, you never know. And the crayfish. And as you see, the weight in lobsters is usually with their claws, whereas crays don't have claws. So all the weight is in the tail and the body. <clears throat> and they make that quicking sound as well when they rub their antenna together or the joint. But absolutely brilliant. One and only cray of the year. But there's probably a lot more out there. Oh, they're strong, aren't they? When yeah, they flap. Very strong. <clears throat> very sharp as well, the spines on them, and the spikes on them. Not much ones to eat them when they're this spiny, I'll tell you that much. 